everyone, welcome back. Today we have a vegan taste test with my little sister. We have kind of a lot to go through, so we're gonna jump right into it. Let's try the fishless fillets first. We both like the McDonald's fish fillets growing up. We would have it on Fridays during Lent. Clink. They have more of the texture of a chicken, chicken. nugget. They're not as tender as fish. It kind of has a mildly fishy flavor, but nothing too overwhelming. This one I would probably repurchase, actually. That's good. Thumbs up. Next from Gardein, we have these sweet and sour porkless bites. They look like this. Sweet and sour chicken actually is what we always used to get when we went to Chinese food as a family. So, high hopes. Mm. It's not crunchy. That's my only issue. They're good. Yeah. I probably wouldn't buy these again though. I'm not a huge fan of the sauce. But if you were on the go, I guess, and this is something that you were craving, but you needed to get somewhere quickly, then you could get these. Yeah, not my favorite. Guardian product so far. Lastly, we have sweet and tangy barbecue wings. Very smoky. Mm-hmm. I kind of wish that Guardian would just sell their chicken strips in bulk without any sauce because I like to use it in salads and stuff like that. The sauce is a little overpowering for me. Texture of the wings is really good. Mm -hmm. It is very convincing chickeny, like chicken breast texture. So takeaways, probably the fishless fillets are our favorite of the three, right? You would agree? Probably would pass up on the pork bites and then the barbecue wings, I think would be fine, whether you want barbecue wings or you just want a fake chicken to work with. Let's try this Amy's rice mac and cheese next. It's gluten-free, dairy-free. I think it's made with Dea cheddar. It's underwhelming. I like it. You do? I mean, this is the first vegan mac and cheese I've ever had, so I'm surprised that it tastes as cheesy as it does. If I didn't tell you it was vegan, would you know, though? Probably because of the flavor. I'm actually kind of surprised. I guess I need to go out and try more vegan mac and cheese. If you don't like Dea, avoid this, but I'd say it's pretty solid. I like the Namaste Foods mac and cheese that I got in my previous taste test better than this. This is still good, and this is less prep. You just microwave it. So again, if you're on the go and you need something to eat. I'm really surprised you like this actually. I thought, cause she's kind of picky. Moving on to more cheesy things. I finally got a hold of the Miyoko's vegan mozzarella. We're gonna try it like cold and also I melted it on a piece of bread. It doesn't taste like real mozzarella at all. Um, uh, the, t the texture is very um, soft. It's like you could spread it on a cracker or yeah, something like it's that. It's more like ricotta cheese, I'd say. Yeah. I prefer the vegan cheeses that I made from scratch. This is good, it's just not mozzarella. <laughs> yeah, you wanna try that melted? It melted really well. It would like look mm -hmm. beautiful if you made a vegan pizza with it. I actually really like it though. <laughs> this would be good on crackers if you were having a snack in the afternoon, but- I really uh, like it, <laughs> keep eating it. The next item are the Follow Your Heart Smoked Gouda Slices, which you guys recommended to me after my last taste test. I have cheese on my hand. Where I tried the American style slices that I loved so much. Smoked Gouda used to be my favorite type of cheese to eat on crackers. And I used to always eat brie and smoked Gouda while I was watching Game of Thrones. I would just eat like an entire block of Gouda. It's disgusting. So <laughs> I would love if this tasted good. There's kind of a weird flavor to it. Yeah, if you've ever cooked with liquid smoke, it tastes overwhelmingly like that. So it's a little bit artificial. It's good. Let's the try The texture it. of the cheese is good. Yeah. Definitely. The, and it melted pretty well, I'd say. I think it does taste better melted. Mm hmm I do too. You could put this out on like a toasted sandwich, like a panini or something. Yeah, this would be good in a hot sandwich melted, but I probably wouldn't eat it plain on crackers. No. I don't know if I would repurchase this. I like other cheeses, like the chow cheeses, so much better than this one. But you like the mozzarella better than the smoked gouda, probably? Yeah, I would eat that with crackers. We have two types of vegan jerky. One of them I've already tried and I buy it all the time. It's these um, primal strips. This is the teriyaki flavor. They have a lot of different flavors. This is a seitan jerky. Let's do it. Mm, I love the texture. It's like super firm. I'm really surprised by uh, how well it shreds, kind of. Mm -hmm. If you're one of those people who gets freaked out by realistic meat textures, you probably want to stay away from this, but I I don't mind it, so. I really like this. It's like um, teriyaki beef jerky that you get 
at a Costco. I'm really surprised by the texture. It's also got a good amount of protein. There's 11 grams in this little strip here. Let's try this other beef jerky. I've not tried this one yet. This is the Louisville vegan jerky. Smoky Carolina barbecue flavor. This one looks like exactly like soy curls that you just marinated and baked. It kind of looks fried. The texture is really, really convincing. This one's a little bit drier like real meat jerky. Oh man, it's even tough to tear apart like real jerky too. I think I kind of like this one more, mm -hmm. but I'm biased because I like barbecue flavored things. But you like them both. Yeah. We found these nacho bean and rice chips and I was pumped because I used to be obsessed, addicted to Doritos and hot Cheetos. Oh, yeah. If anyone finds a way to make vegan hot Cheetos, please call me now because I need them. Oh yeah, it doesn't taste exactly like a Dorito, but it's still cheesy and salty and delicious. It's really, really salty to me and everything, but the flavor, it does have that cheesy kind of Dorito flavor, mm -hmm. but it's a little salty for me. We have one sweet thing to try out. This is the Forager Creamy Dairy-Free Cashew Gurt. Cashew gurt. Cashew gurt. Vanilla bean flavor. <laughs> there were lots of different flavors at Whole Foods and they were on sale. I already tried another flavor for the record and I already know I love it, so. <laughs> oh, wow. It's good, right? I love it. I feel like this is one of those things that if I stocked it in the refrigerator, I would like overeat it so much. Yeah, it's so good. And I like that it's made out of cashews. Mm. Are the other flavors equally as good as this one? I've only tried the blueberry one. Yeah, this is good. I figured I would just throw this in there. We're not going to taste test it, but the other day we made vegan uh, root beer floats and we got this vanilla island coconut bliss ice cream and this cashew milk dark chocolate truffle ice cream by So Delicious. And we both agreed that the coconut bliss is better. This one's really good and creamy and delicious. And this one is just kind of met like the flavor is good, but it's a know. little watery. It was like, yeah, it's but not. But the chocolate pieces in it were really good. Yeah, so I probably would not repurchase this. Ben and Jerry's and the Coconut Bliss by Luna and Larry's. Favorite vegan ice creams. They're so good. Highly recommend. All right, that's everything we had to try today. I would say my favorite thing is probably the fishless fillets. They're pretty, pretty dope. What about you? Probably the, the yogurt. Sweet thing. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you very soon. Peace. Let's go eat some like salad or something. Salad. Or like a head of broccoli or something like that. Broccoli. We're gonna eat some broccoli guys. Bye. <laughs> I walked down the street. I did a deep in the swallow. <laughs> so salty. If you were going to have one of these by itself, it would be okay, but the combination of all of them at oh, the same time man. is like, ah! Yeah, let me show you the texture of this. It wants to focus on your face. <laughs>